Okay, it's music time. Sing along with me. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? You can answer. I'm fine, fine, fine. Or I'm happy, happy, happy. Maybe I'm sleepy, sleepy, sleepy. Or I hope that you are not like this, but maybe you can sing I'm sad, sad, sad. But again, I hope you're not sad. In three, two, one, I want you to sing along, okay? Three, two, one. In this first moment of the video, we will correct your activity book, page number 23, okay? This is the page that we will correct right now. Come with me! Are you on activity book page 23 yet? So, let's correct. On question number 8, we can see some pictures, yes, and you had to listen and circle. Let's do it together right now, okay? Just a second. Yes, it's much better now. Listen and circle, okay? Activity book, unit 2, page 23. 8. Listen and circle the answer. 1. Is she old? Looking at this picture, is she old? Is she old? Yes, she is or no, she isn't? No, she isn't. She's young. She's a kid. Number 2. 2. Are they ugly? Are these flowers ugly? Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Yes, no, they aren't. They are beautiful. They are beautiful flowers. Number three. Three. Is it happy? Is this dog happy? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Number four. Four. Is he sad? Is this boy sad? 
Yes, he is. He is sad because he can't play outside. He can't fly his kite outside his home. Great, well done. Now, question number nine. This was a little bit difficult, but I, I imagine that you went great. Uh, number two, okay, we have here one, two, three, four, five, six. And we can see six questions. Now, let's answer question number two. Are they happy? Looking at these boys, at these kids, are they happy? Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. No, they aren't. They aren't happy. Number three. Number three. It's a flamingo. Is it ugly? No, it isn't. Notice, the question is, is it? So the answer is no, it isn't. Here, number two, are they happy? So the answer is no, they aren't. Or it could be yes, they are, but in this case, it's no, they aren't. Number four, look at this grandma and grandpa. Hey, grandma and grandpa, you should be at home. Are they old? Yes, they are, or no, they aren't. Yes, they are. They are old. Look, with the gray hair. Yeah. Number five. Now let's look at these babies. They are like twins. Uh, are they young? Yes, they are. They are young. Good. Six. Are they sad? Are these girls sad? No, they aren't. Why? Because they are happy, okay? Now, great, this was your homework correction. Now, please, I would like you to open up your pupils book your pupil's book, the blue yellow book, to page number 30. Yes, because it's story time. Pupil's book, page number 30. Okay. Mm, great. In this story, you can see Tina, David, Olivia and lots of things happen. So let's listen and read the story. Pupils book, unit 2, page 30. 12. Listen and read. 1. Look! What's that? <laughs> it's a frog! Ribbit. One, two, three, magic tree. We're back again. Look and see. Come with us. Come and play in our magic tree today. Two. Two. It's Aunt Sue. Hello. Oh dear. She's sad. Three. Can we help? Yes, please. I can't find my cat. Four. What's his name? Mr. Tom. He's big and he's beautiful. Five. What's that? Six. <gasps> Thank you. Meow. 
You're welcome. Three, two, one. That was fun. Time to go. The magic's done. <laughs> wow, this story was different because lots of things happened for sure. Let's start looking at number one. The kids, Tina, David and Olivia, they find a frog and it looks like a magic frog. I don't believe in magic frogs. I'm afraid of frogs. But uh, they find this frog and while they are walking, yes, in the city, they meet Aunt Sue. Yes, she's Aunt Sue. Probably she's Tina's aunt. Uh, and then Tina says, it's Aunt Sue. Hello. But Aunt Sue is not happy. She is sad. Exactly, she is sad. Look at her face. And why is she sad? Because her cat is missing. Yes, her cat is missing. Here. She can't find her cat. And what is her cat's name? Mr. Tom. He is big. And he is beautiful. Then Tina, Olivia, Ipau, they start f trying to find the cat and also the frog. The frog helps them to find the cat. Then suddenly the frog here and Ipau, they look on the tree and what do they find? Yes. They find Mr. Tom. Mr. Tom is on the tree. Even the tree, even the tree, the blue and purple tree, even the tree helps. And the tree says, you're welcome. Oh, uh, the tree talks? This is different. And hey, at the end of the story, we can read, be helpful. What is to be helpful? Mm. Let's talk about it, okay? In the story, we've read the expression be helpful. But hey, do you know what does it mean to be helpful? Yes or no? For this moment, I will invite my friend uh, uh, it's a pet, okay, he is a pet he doesn't have a name, he or she doesn't have a name yet and it will help me, okay my friend, it's going to be right here yes we will talk about be helpful. Pay attention. I say, Hey friend, I can't find, I can't find my smartphone. I can't find. And then, my friend asks, Hey, can I help? Can I help you to find your cell phone? And I say, Yes, of course you can help. He or she, I don't know yet, it's my friend is being helpful. He is offering help. Again, I can't find my bike. I can't find my bike. 
Hey, have you seen my bike? And he says or she says, No, I haven't seen. But hey, can I help you to find? Yes, of course. And then we try to find and here, I found it. So, my friend was very helpful. For this reason, let's listen to uh, a situation on the book. Now that we are talking about being helpful, let's take a look at the situation here on page number 31, question 13. Let's see what happens between this girl and this boy. Pupils book, unit 2, page 31. 13. Listen and act. I can't find my dog. Can I help? Here you are. Thank you. Hello, Rover. Look at the situation. The girl, Abby, she was trying to find her dog. I can't find my dog. I can't find my dog. And Ed, the boy, offers his help. He says, hey, can I help? And then Ed finds the dog. Hey, here you are. Abby says, thank you. Hello, Rover. In this situation, Eddie was helpful. And he said what? Can I help? Great. Now, on, still on page number 31, let's see question number 14. Listen and say. We've can, we can see here two animals and they are having some meal. Yes, they are having a lunch, probably. Uh, let's listen. Pupils book, unit 2, page 31. Animal sounds. 14. Listen and say. F. V. A fox with a fish. A vulture with vegetables. A fox with a fish. A vulture with vegetables. You. A fox with a fish. A vulture with vegetables. We've got, we can hear two sounds here. F and V. Wait a second. We have heard a fox with a fish, a vulture with vegetables. There are two different sounds. F. The latter is F. Sorry. Excuse me. The latter is F, but the sound is F. We've also heard a vulture with vegetables. V. The latter is V, but the sound is V. Two different letters, two different sounds. Can you think of words with the sound of F? Of course there are. Football. Football. What else? Help me out. Five. Fine. What else? Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more. Hmm? Oh, frog. 
Exactly. And with V. Not only in the beginning, we can think about have, have, yes. We can think about living from living room. Tell me, what else? Mm. Seven vision. F sound f. V sound v. Okay. Now let's talk about your homework. Yes. You've got two pages of homework. Your activity book, pages number 24 and 25. You've already done exercises similar to these, so it's not complicated. On page number 24, question number 10, Look and write the words. Here you have the story, yes, and you have to complete this uh, dialogue uh, balloons with the words from the box. Cat, beautiful, what's you, sad. You have to complete the story with these words. Mm -hmm. On page number 25, Question number 11. What is missing? Here, in this situation where there is a girl and a boy, what is missing? What is the animal missing here? A cat, a fish, or a mouse? Then you have to draw, draw the animal that is missing. And I am helpful. You will stick here using the stickers at the end of your book, on the last page of your book. You will stick the sticker here only if you are helpful, okay? If you are not helpful, don't stick. Question number 12. Trace the letters. A fox with a fish, a vulture with vegetables. F, f, v, v. Trace letters F and V. And number 13. You will access Portal Pés Positivo. You will try to find track 48, you will listen and tick, tick, v or f. You will listen to the word and tick the sound you hear. Yeah, that is your homework and hey, what about a last song? Yes, music. Come with me. Unfortunately, our class is over. So it's time to say... Yes, it's time to say goodbye. In three, two, one. Goodbye.